Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV, powered by Stage Front VIP. Here with Leo Santa Cruz, Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, pre-fight. Tell me the keys for victory for both guys. Starting with Ryan Garcia, what does he have to do to get his hand raised? Ryan Garcia has to put the pressure, you know, put the pressure, throw a lot of punches, don't let Tank breathe. You know, he has to be on top of him. Tank don't like that. And, you know, for Tank, you know, be smart, patient, and look for the power shot. You know, that's like how he did to me, you know. I waited, you know, and he got me. Before before the KO versus Tank, uh, did you feel a lot of his power? Did you feel his power prior to it, or was it just one and done after that? No, it was just one and done. You know, I, the truth, I didn't even feel the power. That's why I stayed there. I stood there because, you know, I'm like, I'm not really feeling his power, so I'm going to stay there and bang with him because, you know, that's what the fans like for fighters to bang, and that's what I tried to do, and, but it was a mistake. Do you think Ryan Garcia has the power to knock Tank out? Yeah, he does. You know, Ryan, he's quick. He has the power, so I think he does. What does Ryan Garcia have to do to beat Tank, quite frankly? You know, uh, counter punch really good, you know, um, and you know, you stay on top of him, you know, pressure and pressure and catch him with a big hook. We had a pushing match right here behind yeah. you on the stage yeah. yesterday. Uh, Tank Davis got into it with uh, Bernard Hopkins. Oh, yeah, I know. I uh, what did you think yeah. about that? I think, you know, that's respectful. You know, you, you can't uh, start fighting with, you know, a legend you know, like Bernard Hopkins and he, I don't think he did nothing wrong, uh, but, he, but you know it happened, so I think he has to be respectful. Rehydration clause, both guys weighed in at 135, yeah. 135.1 and 135.5. Uh, what do you think about Ryan Garcia coming back today? He made the second weight. Uh, what do you think he is now physically? I think, he's, think he's all the way back, rehydrated? Not all the way up, but maybe like around 150, something around there, probably. Yeah. Okay, and Leo, lastly, May 20th. Yesterday we saw Devin Haney. We, we spent some time yeah. with Devin Haney in his camp. He looked real, real sharp. Yeah. He looks like he's ready to take Leo. Uh, he's ready to take yeah. Lomachenko down. Uh, Lomachenko, Devin Haney, May 20th. Yeah. What do you think about that fight? You know, Lomachenko, he's a great fighter, skillful. He has a lot of experience and everything. But I think the youth of Haney, you know, he's stronger, he's bigger. I think that's gonna win it for him and the youth. And for everybody at home that wants to know, when do we get to see Leo Santa Cruz? Me, and we were talking. I think hopefully August or July. So. Hopefully, we have a date soon. Who do you want to fight? Whoever. You know, whoever the fans want, whoever they tell me to, um, I'll fight whoever. Well, there you have it. Marcus Hayes, Fight Up TV. Yeah, thank you. Leo Santa Cruz. Thank you, Leo. Take care.